Hello, today I'll be showing you how to fill a mould and demould a silicone piece. These are the products that we are going to use and you're going to need. First, you apply Vaseline or petroleum jelly to the mould to just give the silicone a release and to ensure that it doesn't all stick together and ruin the mould. Next, you mix cap plastic and acetone in a glass container. It must be glass to ensure that the acetone doesn't burn through any plastic. Um, you mix a one to three, I use a one to three ratio of cap plastic to acetone. So here I use three grams of cap plastic and nine grams of acetone. You mix together with a chip brush and apply it straight to the mold. Here I am applying the cat plastic nest to mixture straight onto the mould. You want to let it completely dry in between each layer and possibly do some layers in different angles just to thicken the cat plastic. Now we're going to mix the silicon. This is Platzel Gel 25 Part A. Silicon is mixed in a two part mixture, Part A and Part B. Here's Part B and they must be mixed in equal measures. When creating a mould, this would be enough. There's just part A and part B, but because we are creating a piece, we need to add deadener, which today I use 100% ratio. So the silicone was four grams of part A and part B, so eight. So I use eight grams of deadener. The different ratios of deadener means the softness of the piece. So the more deadener you put in and the higher percentage, the softer the piece is gonna be. If you want a piece that's going to be on the face and a movable part of the body, then you want a higher depth and ratio. But if you're using something that's not a movable piece or not on a movable part of the body, a lower depth and ratio is fine. Here I'm just adding silicon uh, pigment. So just add one little drip of pigment as these are really pigmented colours, just to give the piece a sort of flesh toned, slight flesh toned pigment just to make it easier when applying the piece and blend it into the skin. I mix the pigment into one cup just to ensure that when I pour the other cup into the other one, I can ensure that it's all mixed in together as I'll be able to see that the whole mixture is completely the pigmented colour. This just ensures that everything is all mixed in to ensure the silicon and deadener will cure properly. So now I'm going to pour the silicone mixture into the mould. I pour it straight into the actual piece and then any excess that will overfill into the cap plastic, which will be scraped off. You want to ensure the whole piece is covered to ensure that the mould is fully filled. I find it easy just to pour all the silicone in there. If it's too much, you can scrape it off, but it's better to have too much than too little. So here I just use a clean cup and a clean lollipop stick and I just scrape the silicone off, clean the lollipop stick and try again. This is to ensure that all the silicone is level and there's no excess that's going to flow into the cap plastic and make it difficult when applying. To ensure there's no silicone in the cap plastic, you want to run your finger around the cap plastic and the mould edge just to ensure that there's no cap plastic still stuck in that still silicon stuck in that cap plastic that's going to make it difficult when applying so you want to leave your silicon until it's fully cured and maybe leave it in the mold overnight just to hold the shape this is the demolding process you want to powder the whole piece and then as you peel it off powder the underneath just to ensure there's no sticky edges and it's not going to stick together and you won't be able to part it and here's the piece.